Abraham, the patriarch of the Jewish, Christian, and Islamic faiths, lived a life rich with events that prefigured the coming of Jesus Christ. His story, detailed in the book of Genesis, is filled with acts of faith, trials, and divine promises that mirror the life and mission of Jesus. Here is a narrative exploring how Abraham's life served as a prophetic blueprint for the Messiah. The Call of Abraham Abraham's journey began with a call from God. In Genesis 12 1-3 God commanded him to leave his homeland and go to a land that he would show him. This call came with a promise. Abraham would become a great nation, his name would be great, and through him all families of the earth would be blessed. This divine calling mirrors Jesus' mission. Just as Abraham was called to leave his home, Jesus left his heavenly home to fulfill his mission on earth. Jesus' life and teachings were meant to bless all nations, just as God promised through Abraham, the covenant and the promise of a son. In Genesis 15, God made a covenant with Abraham, promising him descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. Despite Abraham and his wife Sarah's old age, God assured them they would have a son. This promise required immense faith as it seemed humanly impossible. This promise finds its fulfillment in Jesus, the ultimate descendant of Abraham. The miraculous birth of Isaac, Abraham's promised son, prefigures the miraculous birth of Jesus. Both births were announced by angels and brought joy and fulfillment of God's promises. The sacrifice of Isaac, one of the most profound events in Abraham's life, is the command to sacrifice his son Isaac in Genesis 22. God tested Abraham's faith by asking him to offer Isaac as a burnt offering. Abraham obeyed without hesitation, demonstrating his unwavering faith in God. However, at the last moment, God provided a ram as a substitute, sparing Isaac's life. Also, the story of the ram caught in a thicket by his horns represent the limitation of Jesus when he came on earth because of the law. He was not allowed to manifest some powerful gifts of the Spirit. This event is a powerful foreshadowing of Jesus' sacrificial death. Just as Abraham was willing to sacrifice his only son, God the Father willingly sacrificed his only son Jesus for the salvation of humanity. The ram that took Isaac's place symbolizes Jesus, the Lamb of God who took our place on the cross. Melchizedek, the priest king. In Genesis 14, Abraham encounters Melchizedek, the king of Salem and priest of the Most High God. Melchizedek blesses Abraham and offers him bread and wine. This mysterious figure, who is both king and priest, prefigures Jesus Christ. In the New Testament, the book of Hebrews identifies Jesus as a priest in the order of Melchizedek. Like Melchizedek, Jesus is both a king and a priest, offering the ultimate sacrifice of his body and blood symbolized by bread and wine in the Last Supper. The Promise of the Nations God's promise to Abraham included the blessing of all nations through his seed. In Genesis 22:18, God tells Abraham that through his offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed. This promise is ultimately fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Jesus' life, death and resurrection opened the way for salvation to all people regardless of nationality or background. The gospel message carried by Jesus' disciples spread to all corners of the earth fulfilling the promise made to Abraham. The Everlasting Covenant God's covenant with Abraham was everlasting, promising not only land and descendants, but also a lasting relationship with God. In Genesis 17:7, God declares that he will establish his covenant as an everlasting covenant between him and Abraham and his descendants. This everlasting covenant finds its ultimate expression in the new covenant established by Jesus. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus inaugurated a new eternal relationship between God and humanity. This new covenant, written in the hearts of believers, fulfills and surpasses the promises made to Abraham. Abraham's faith and righteousness. Abraham's faith was counted as righteousness, Genesis 15:6. His belief in God's promises, despite seemingly insurmountable odds, set a precedent for all believers. This principle of faith leading to righteousness is central to the Christian faith. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul frequently cites Abraham's faith as a model for Christians. Just as Abraham was justified by faith, so are believers justified through faith in Jesus Christ. This doctrine of justification by faith alone is a cornerstone of Christian theology. Conclusion Abraham's life filled with divine encounters, promises and acts of faith 
serves as a profound prophecy of the life and mission of Jesus Christ. From his calling and covenant to the sacrifice of Isaac and the encounter with Melchizedek, Abraham's story foreshadows the redemptive work of Jesus. Through these parallels, we see how God's plan for salvation was intricately woven into the fabric of history, beginning with Abraham and culminating in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ.